audio. I hope you are keeping well with your health and study. Online teaching is going on and I am sure you are getting benefited by this way of teaching and learning process. One thing you must be doing and I am sure you are doing that you will keep your notebook well prepared because at the time of and looking at your notebook copy notebook at that time you will produce to me or any teacher of different subjects uh, two books out of two books first flight some chapters have been done footprints without fit also from that book some chapters have been done first flight Two poems have been completed, two poems by Robert Frost and this is the third poem today I am going to give you and this is very interesting poem in the sense how an animal, not to talk of man, but even an animal wishes to remain in liberty. This is very common that man wants freedom, man wants liberty, man does not want any binding and <coughs> any restrictions. Man wants freedom. But not only man. Through this poem we come we may come to a certain conclusion that not only man but animals, birds, insects, every creature on earth wants freedom. If you remember, in class 7 you had read a poem, Birdie will you pet. Remember? Yes. Birdie will you pet, a girl child wanted to make a small bird her pet, but the bird was not ready to accept the offer. Why? Because she wanted freedom. She wanted her own liberty. I remember I had read a poem in class 6 in Hindi. I would like to give you some lines. Hum panchi un mukt gagan ke pinjar badna ga paayenge कनक तीलियों से टकराकर पुलकित पंख टूट जाएंगे हम बहता जल पीने वाला मर जाएंगे भूखे प्यासे कहीं भली है कुटुक निवोड़ी कनक कटोरी की मेदा से स्वर्ण श्रृंखला के बंधन में अपनी गति उड़ान सब भूलें बस सपनों में देख रहे हैं तरु की फुलगी पर के झूले ऐसे थे अरमान के उड़ते नीले लब की सीमा पाने नीली चोंच चौ, खोल चुकते तारे अनार के दाने होती सीमा हीन चितिज इन पंखों की ये होड़ा होड़ी या तो चितिज मिलन बन जाता या सांसें पंखों की जोड़ी नीर न दो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन यू सी यर नीर न दो चाहे टहनी का आश्रय छिन्न भिन्न कर डालो लेकिन पंख दिए हैं तो आकुल उड़ान में विघ्न न डालो द बर्ड हियर विशेष फ्रीडम विशेष लिबर्टी लाइक दैट दिस पोएम इज आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन फ्रीडम एंड लिबर्टी द टाइगर वांट्स इन हिज लाइफ द पोएम इज in a contrast form, very beautifully the poet Leslie Norris, an eminent English poet, very nicely presented here the picture of two birds, uh, the two, uh, two tigers. Actually he is a Welsh poet but Welsh is also in the part of UK, so English poet. The picture of two tigers, the same tiger if 
live in his own habitat how he will feel and the same tiger is now in the in the cage in the zoo in the cage of the zoo and how he feels very naturally the the tiger in the zoo is always under restrictions always under pressure always under some discipline some guideline but the tiger who is in the open forest the tiger in his own habitat he had full liberty he can move anywhere go anywhere rest anywhere but here in the cage the tiger's freedom is chained tiger's freedom is restricted so the poem first i would like to read it you see here he stalks in his, in his vivid uh, stripes the few steps of his cage on pairs of velvet quite in his quiet rage he should be lurking in shadow sliding through long grass near the water hole where plump deer pass he should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge bearing his white fangs his claws they rising the village but he is locked in a concrete cell his strength behind bars stalking the length of his cage ignoring visitors he hears the last voice at night the patrolling cars and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars so if you have your book ready my dear you can see the book read the book and find the contrast very clear contrast between the the same tiger if the same tiger is out of the cage how can he feel how can he live and the, if the same tiger is inside the cage how does he feel so the tiger is inside the ray inside the cage he is slave gulam he is under restrictions he is not free the people are around around him surrounded he is surrounded by the people at the cage but he cannot do anything but suppose if the people would see the tiger in the open field in the open forest it is not possible for the people to remain there peacefully they will be terrorized they will be in great trouble so if the same tiger lives in his own natural habitat he would walk freely he would he would sit under certain tree or uh, hide himself in inside the bush in the bush waiting for the plump very fat deer to prey upon him or go sliding in the forest in the grass the the same tiger that is in the zoo if he were out of the uh, cage he would terrorize the village people would be very afraid people will be very frightened to know the roaring of the tiger but now the people have no fear because the tiger is in the cage the visitors arrive there but we see we go to the zoo to see different animals but the animals are locked inside the zoo inside the cage they cannot attack on 
you had attack on us why the wild animals are inside the cage but though he is in the cage he wishes to come out he wishes liberty he stares at the open sky the stars sky and stars here are the symbols of freedom but he is unable so the whole poem is the consciousness about any creature who has been sent on earth by dream to remain in freedom to enjoy freedom to enjoy liberty thank you you will make some questions in your cw coffee okay